CNN. Oh, morning, morning. How are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Once again, it is me, all your favorite adventure, Mamo. Let me tell you what's going on. Um, the long and short it is the world and a mess. So we're going to jump on your bike and we're going to make a overnight in the bush, in the wilderness. Have a trip planned. We're going to be going across to Smudge. Yeah. See, have it all back to the overnight day. Yeah, we're going to cross the Plumitan. I have a course charted, I should say, that will take us through the most rustic rural part you could find to get to where we're going. So I managed to avoid most of the highway, most of the main road, most of the major roads. So it's bright and early Thursday morning. Let me look to head out. I'll check back in. There we go. Oh, Alright guys, um, first impromptu stop of the day and I'll come through a piece of bad road up there I came through a little bit hard if I'm being honest and one of my bag straps I'm going to show you how I go on Yeah, as so I come through I hear the bag dragon, so check it It broke, so I'm going to have to rig something here This is the bag that I had to stop and pick up Well, it was dragging it and up tangled up there and whatever But the strap didn't look too bad I know these um these plastic buckles would have been an issue. I suspected as much, but I still went ahead because it's what I had. But there ain't nothing. I stop and take five. This spot, this spot ain't looking too bad at all. Check it out. Some nice bamboo patch and thing. I ain't gonna lie, the ride, the ride going nice. I was real getting into it. Maybe that's why that happened. So I had to stop and take five and regroup myself a little bit. Anyway, I'll check back in. So far, so good. I'm gonna go and see if I could re-rig this thing. Later, folks. Alright, well, I resecured the bag there. And I go to say, let me drink a little water and I now realize um, I seem to have lost my water bottle as well. I have no idea where that could have fallen. I'll come through some real rough road. Come through some real rough road. I hear nothing, I see nothing. But then again. Alright, well, the bag's secure. 
They take all five like a trip out and we go back on the road. Well, let's see. Let me move. I think it's that way we gotta go. I think therefore I am a little bit lost. <laughs> oh, I seem to have lost my way a little bit, but I'll stop and I'll stop to take a five and console the GPS and see what's going on. Check the map. Kinda reorient myself. Alright, we'll be back on the road in a few. Let me move again. A little bit too see though, as I lost my bottle of water. Might have to stop and get some refreshment soon. So we go see how we go. All right, onward, adventure. Alright, this right here is the unknown part. I spent a better part of three days planning this trip on Google Maps. And this part here, I'm not sure is I'm not sure it's an actual road. I'm not sure we could follow it to go to get out where we had to go with looking real rustic. I don't know why I'm walking, I just walking. Yeah, check it out. Alright, let me hope the way clear, let me hope we make it through. All right, so we move. Wish all the boy luck.
Oh. All right, a very chop save. Thank God for that. No worse for where that road, that road almost wasn't a road at all. Now, to tell you the truth, I struggled a little bit coming through it. It was mostly tires. Tires was my issue. The instant these things pull up here with mud, I had zero traction. Whew. But I reach up here. Uncle B no home though. He no home. So I hope he show up sometime later on. Or he probably going somewhere to do something and come back. Well, he's supposed to know I was coming up. I had sent a message. It had no cell phone reception up here. So it really, it's it difficult to get a message through. I had to send, send message by word of mouth. But we're here for the night. I'm going to organize myself, take our five and a little time in. We're going to make a trek up the hill there to the bush cabin. And that will be where we're settling down for the night. I'll check back in. All you good there? All you right? Yeah, that was all... I was all squirrely coming through there, but <laughs> we make it, we make it a little bit up later. Not bad at all, huh? Oh yes. All right, guys. I'm gonna tell all you. I've been a little bit sad to tell you the truth and frustrated. I thought we were at the point where this whole pandemic thing was gonna start to ease up and things gonna be good, but now here and talk about World War Three and nuclear thing and thing, 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 and everything just getting worse. Everything just getting worse. So. I just jump on my bike, I leave home and I came here. Spend a night in the wilderness, come out and touch grass while I still could. All right.
watching a video with a, um, a ship, them container ship, he sailing from somewhere in China, sailing to um, thing, and the park camera on top of it. They know out in the ocean, they have no light. And that is recording the night sky constantly, every night. Yeah. And the pop that video is about 45 minutes. But it, and how it looking, looking like you're watching out into space. You're seeing, yeah, yeah, you're seeing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I know I ain't checking in a while. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just didn't feel like making much video. I just wanted to relax and enjoy the trip. So I didn't film much thing. But it was nice. It was real nice. We had the campfire going all night. I sleep under my, my mosquito net, under my blanket. It was nice. I had a little shower in. The place was cool. I well relaxed myself. And now making my way home. And I'll stop. I was feeling kind of lost. And then like five minutes after I realized I'm by the same junction that I was feeling lost yesterday. The same spot. So I just stop on a bridge and out of five, regrouping. I ended up taking a different path to come back out. That path we have passed going yesterday was real treacherous. I couldn't pass it to come back out this morning. I couldn't put myself through that. Plus I think I damaged my wrist when I fell down. My wrist real pain in my whole night. So I'm trying to take it easy. I'm trying to take the, the more civilized route back home. <laughs> anyway. I'll check back in. Are they good? Are they alright? Are they enjoy anything? Are they enjoy anything? Nice. Yeah, up there are nice. Up there are nice. Alright. Later, folks. I'll check back in.
and sometimes this is how it is be. <laughs> After you make a when I didn't wash, I get properly well soaked on the ride back home. <laughs> oh yes. I just stop off by this little place in Tamana here. Yeah. And I come out to road, say the four roads junction. Yeah, I think I will probably almost halfway home. So that rain, that rain, I'll just trust. At one point, I just had to sit the hell with it and just take the wet. I soaked, I properly well soaked. All my future <laughs> generations properly well soaked and squingy. Oh, yes. Who is this? I can sign here. Who is this? Kenneth Peter Community Park 2016. Kenneth Peter Cut Your Grass. Alright, but I will just be sometime. I'll check back in just now. I'll get back on the road in a few minutes. I can't get, I can't get any more wet, so I may as well. Alright, later folks. Alright guys, I ain't gonna lie for you. This was a tiring one. I really exhausted. But all your boy make it back home safe. As usual, I'd like to thank you all for coming on this adventure with me. Hope all you enjoyed the thing. Hope all you, you know, found it entertaining. Hope you join me next time. Until then, all you keep good and all you stay blessed. Ugly man out for the hour. Later folks.